Hello friends, so my name is Viren and today I show you how to configure the OPC Scout with Semantic 300 station. First of all, open the Semantic Manager software file. First create the new project. New. Given the project name. This is server trial and select the path. This is uh, I have already designed one folder. Just click and OK. OK, so now your project is created. Open the project. Insert the first new object and select the Semitech 300 station because our hardware is a 300 series PLC. Now click on the Semitech 300 station. There is one option shows the hardware. Open the hardware option. The first we will configure the hardware. The first of all, this is the task card, Semitic 300 option, open the 300 option, the second last option rack, first insert the rack and open the CPU 300, our part number is a 314C2 PN slash TP, select and drag and drop in second slot because first slot is reserved for the power supply. Okay, Here assign for your PLC IP and now generate the communication bus, I just given the name, it is a field bus and ok now your bus is generated IP is created just save and compile ok and download this one option is uh, pop up it is a selected node address in this window your software we will configure the IP in software they mention and there is a one option for accessible node in accessible node your actual physical PLC IP show in the accessible node just wait for some time ok so this is my IP and just view the current PLC IP show in the accessible node the first we will match your software IP and the physical IP ok both are the same now ok and just click ok so now your PLC configuration is completed now 7 configure and close this window now we will configure the server configuration again click on the project insert the new object and the semantic 300 station sorry uh, not semantic 300 station just click insert the semantic PC station and PC station configuration in first rack there is a in task card the last option is the semantic PC station open the and one option are the CP industrial ethernet card because our communication protocol is the profinet means industrial I ethernet so first I will add the I industrial card and this IP is same as usual your system IP because my system IP is right now is a 32 because this system I have used as a my OPC server so definitely I have first match your system IP with this IP and select this field bus this is the communication with the system to PLC and user application OPC server and OPC server now OPC server is installed again 7 compile and download okay. just see the offline the name is the semantic PC station and the online name is the tail PC so this is the warning symbol it is not a major issue but how to match this both I show you in the one option first download okay just wait for some time okay so now your hardware configuration is completed here I have designed the just one program only one just sample trial here I have configured one input the M memory area M0.0 and this is the output to Q136.0 the before we will configure we will use in this server 
we need to first define the symbol in this tag table. So just right click on the tag and edit symbol. Just click on the symbol. This is the start bit. I just given the name as a start bit. Okay. And this one is I give us the name as a motor. So I just given the name. It is a motor output. Motor OP. Okay. And save and just download the 300 station okay now after completion of the hardware and the program open the net pro it is configuration network option so here we will configure the network the first just click in the opc uh, uh, first in the cpu 300 station this is the local id click on the connection and select your partner it is opc server and see this connection it is add seven connection and the okay now establish the connection okay the connection is the configure but we will read the data to plc to server the first uh, need to configuration of the server so just click on the opc server right click on the opc server object the property and there's the one option as seven and first is the access protection active means write read uh, read and write both option are active now configure and there is see this option is the enable open this option this is your project is show in this area open your plc the mentioned two tags are already show here and just press ok ok so this configuration is completed now one by one download this hardware con uh, this uh, network configuration first 300 configure completed now opc server configuration is completed download and ok Just wait for some time. <coughs> okay, so now network configuration is completed. The first open the station configuration option and see these two options of the server, the run and stop. It is a running and the connection is the configure. Means your OPC server is working. So now first open the your server is OPC Scout. OPC Scout and select the option OPC semantic node because our configuration protocol is a profi net so open this one and second last option is the system there is a semantic 300 station and this is our PLC just click in there the two our tags are there and just drag and drop in this down table downside table this is the option monitoring on okay now now you see the both tags are values is false so this is the tag is a my I have designed the simple ladder logic with and a contact with my coil so I just uh, on this coil okay and I will just write just see okay uh, just I stop now again I insert first start bit second motor output okay and now monitoring on both are false so your first bit is your first bit is start bit okay so I just change the value as a true okay and right so you just see input is on your output is on and just check your the program open the your obi1 and the monitoring just see your output is on now again open the opc server i just uh, again change as a false okay and right both are off and just see this your output is off so this is the configuration of the opc server with the symmetric 300 station thank you